Hello, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over student loans. We're going to look at different types of student loans and also evaluate the impact of accrued versus capitalized interest. Let's get started. Unfortunately, in today's environment, a lot of students need to take out student loans in order to go to college. Uh, there are uh, many different types of student loans. First, let's look at federal student loans. Uh, there are need-based loans, so these are based on your financial, your family's income or your own income, and this include uh, Perkins loan. Uh, Perkins loans are loans issued to students and they are paid directly to the college. Uh, direct subsidized loans are also loans to the students and they are paid directly to students. All these need-based loans interest on based on your financial need and they are deferred until you graduate and repayment starts. So you don't have to, uh, there is no interest on this loan until you graduate. There are also non-need-based student loan. Um, the name is, is very misleading because most people take out loans because they need the loan. Uh, but what, it, what this means is that the borrower do not qualify under the income uh, criteria for, the, uh, for Perkins loan and direct subsidized loan. The first type of loans are loans to students. These are direct unsubsidized loan. And then they're also called direct plus loans. These are loans to the parents. So these are not loans to the student. Interest on these loans accrued, meaning that you do not have to pay back the loan. But the moment the loan, the money is given out, so the loan disbursement means the money is given to either the borrower, either the students or the parents. When the money is given out, then interest start accumulating, even though you're not required to start making repayment. Repayment on both types of loans are deferred until the student leaves the school. And the interest rate is fixed at the time the loan is originated. And this is important to, to know because the interest rate is set by Congress uh, next, uh, every year. So you may take out a different loan for each year you're in college and the interest rate on those loans can be different from year to year because that's, uh, the Congress will set a new rate each academic year. There are also private student loans. Uh, these loans, the term and conditions are sent by the lender. Uh, and also this is the interest on these loans are typically similar to the unsubsidized loan, meaning that they accrue when the loan is given. Uh, so the interest will keep adding to your balance before you graduate. Uh, it's important when you take out a private student loan to watch out all the fine prints uh, because these loans are not regulated or got, um, or issued by the government at all. So the interest rates are set by the lender. So they can be a lot higher than the one that is set by Congress. Uh, as a rule of thumb, uh, you should try to use federal loans as much as you can. We talk about deferred interest, accrued interest, and capitalized interest. So what do they all mean? Defer interest is pretty simple. It just defer, meaning no interest charges are added uh, until you graduate and repayment starts. Accrue interest is computed as simple interest and it does not increase the principal of the loan. So no outstanding balance is affected. Capitalized interest, the unpaid interest is added to the principal and then the balance will increase and then the next period, even if you don't make payment uh, or the payment is deferred, you will still increase your balance. So unsubsidized federal loans accrue interest when you are in school. And once the student leaves the school, then the entire accrued amount becomes capitalized, meaning that it is added to the loan balance once the repayment begins. Let's take a look at the impact. So let's say you take out the same loan amount, uh, or you take out $10,000 in year one and two, and then $12,000 in year three and four. Uh, this is the interest rate for each year. So you can figure, and, um, this is the accrued interest until you graduate. 
So the total, if you have an unsubsidized loan and interest is accrued, the interest is $5,570. But if you take a private loan and, uh, and the loans are capitalized, then the balance will keep increasing and your outstanding interest will be $6,000 when you graduate. So that's a difference of almost $5,000. That's assuming the interest rate is the same. So if you take out a private loan that capitalizes interest and have a higher interest rate, you can end up paying $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 more in interest compared to a federal loan. Yeah, finally, some important facts to keep in mind about student loans. Uh, one is that student loans are exempt in bankruptcy, meaning that they are not forgiven. Even if, if you file for bankruptcy, you will still owe your student loan. Uh, and the other is to know that there are many payment plans. Uh, choose them and do your homework. Um, talk to the lenders. Don't just avoid payment if you cannot uh, make the payment. You can work out the payment plan that works for you. Uh, in fact, uh, the legislation is changing uh, all the time. Uh, and right now we're heading the right direction where there are more ways for students uh, who graduated and uh, the uh, legislation allow the students to cater their loan payment or match the loan payment to their actual income. Of course, prevention is the best strategy. So borrow as little as you can. Uh, use the tools that you're learning in this class to help you budget and, re re uh, and reduce your spending. And again, watch out for scams. You may see a lot of advertisement for how, to, how can they help you reduce your loan payment. Watch out for services that charge upfront or extend your loan payment for a very long period, like 20 years. Uh, so the best strategy is talk to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, find out what are the best payment plans for student loans uh, at the current time. This wraps up our discussion on, st on student loan. I will see you back here soon.